Get your munchies on because you're watching Taste Buds. Oh, okay. <laughs> The dish we are, well, I am going to be trying today is a spit roasted goat. It's a style that's more common in the western and northern regions, but not native to this place. Demand from tourists, though, have now made it a popular food in Shunchang, and the people here have taken to rearing goats. And behind me are peanut leaves, which are going to be fed to the goats that I'm not supposed to befriend today because they are going to get slaughtered for Joyce to eat. Um, well, I guess I'll better just clean up here while Joyce can get go going, goating, going, goating. Uh, I'm standing in front of this machine for around two minutes and apparently I'm getting sanitized because I'm going to be um, touching the sheep and whatnot, so they just want me to not have any bacteria, which is probably a good idea. These goats were all born and raised on Mr. Xiaolongming's goat farm. Like most of the other villagers, he started off doing agriculture work, but Xiao wanted to do something new, so he looked into raising goats. He started small and the initial group of goats did really well in Xuanchang's climate, so Xiao expanded his operations. Mr. Xiao just told me that um, the male goats are the main suppliers of goat meat that we see on the market, whereas all the female goats here are, their main purpose is to reproduce. And the entire life cycle of a goat is around one year. So after a baby goat is born here, then they uh, kind of stay in this pasture for around a year. Xiao wanted to treat us to the most extravagant dish on the farm, spit roasted goat. And in order to make this dish, we need a goat. I was doing a story in Shenzhen where um, we were shooting roasted ducks, and then we were at the place where they like slaughtered these ducks. And that was really the moment um, I was like, I'm done. I'm not going to eat any meat from now on. Yeah. Nat kept her distance while the meat was prepped for roasting with a mixture of flour, eggs, and store-bought Sichuan Mala pepper flavoring, which typically has crushed oh, chili flakes, oyster sauce, chili oil, cumin, garlic, salt, pepper, and sugar. Small goats can be roasted in an hour, whereas bigger ones require two hours. The meat was slow cooked to tender perfection while the skin was crispy. For the more picky eater who doesn't want to savor the muskiness of the meat, the in-your-face spicy and salty seasoning will cover it up. It is so juicy. I don't often do this, but I was so stuffed I needed to. Run, Joyce, run! Well, it's a wrap in Shenchang. We kicked off the trip learning about the culture and heritage of the She people while eating black rice and bamboo rice. We tried a whole slew of foods with fillings. Zongzu stuffed with red bean filling, poached eggs stuffed with pork and mushroom, and baigo. And as always, I was stuck being the food provider, digging for bamboo shoots in the forest. Wait, Joyce! Come back here! We need to go to Fujo for our next adventure.